Evelyn Champagne King has been on the music scene for about 13 years. Her first tune was Shame, off her Smooth Talk album. She collaborated with hot producers like Kashif, Paul Lawrence Jones, and Andre Simone, just to name a few. Evelyn's hits include Love Come Down, Get Loose, Your Personal Touch, I'm in Love, Hold On to What You've Got, Kisses Don't Lie, which was one of my personal favorites from her last album, Flirt. It's my pleasure to welcome to Video Soul, Evelyn Champagne King. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Now, some people say it's Evelyn King and not Evelyn Champagne right, King. Right. Set the record straight. <laughs> it's Evelyn Champagne King. It never, was never, never taken it. out. It was never really taken out. Not from me, anyway. What happened? Um, well, the record company that I was with before wanted to just see what happened. And as you can see... <laughs> It's bad. It didn't work. <laughs> it never so, left. Uh, no, the no kids marketing. the kids really love the champagne, you know. And uh, they just kept saying, well, we don't know an Evelyn King. I was like, well, I, I am originally Evelyn champagne. King, but champagne, I, I, yeah. you know, it's, it sounds bubbly. Yeah. I know when I heard I like that it. it was gone, it sounds bubbly. I like that. <laughs> I, like that. I like that. But when I heard that you were dropping the champagne, I, I couldn't figure out why you do okay. it either. Let's but talk still about your, your history. You're originally from New Jersey? Originally from the Bronx, okay. New York. I lived in Philadelphia, I was raised in Philadelphia, and I got discovered in Philadelphia. Then I moved from Philadelphia to New York, from New York to New Jersey. I'm in New Jersey now, I'm currently in New Jersey, and I love okay. it. So you call New Jersey home? New Jersey's home. Now you got discovered. I've heard, here again, I oh. haven't seen anything in writing about how you got discovered, but is it true that you were the cleanup, you were yeah, cleaning up somewhere? I was cleaning, I was cleaning and filling international records. Okay. And I was just vacuum cleaning and singing Sam Cooke's song, Change Gonna Come. And T-Life heard me and said, one day you're gonna be a star. I was like, yeah, right. Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> right. What are you doing and here? You, you know, to yeah. Kind well, of vacuum here. But I mean, I, I was looking at him and I was saying, okay, this guy's cute, you know. <laughs> yeah, what are we gonna do, okay? I will be My mother was there though, you know, and <laughs> he knew my mother. Okay. And it was just, it was just out of fate, you know, he was there. So what happened? He heard your voice and said, you're gonna be a star. Yeah, what did he, he do for me? you? to some, you know, he took me to his home, which he has studio, and it was just a bunch of guys there, they were writers, and everybody was like ready, John Fitch and Reuben Cross, which I thank them for the record Shame, because without Shame, I wouldn't be on the scene with you today. Mm. That's but a really, record. I remember that. They made um, it happen. When you performed Kisses Don't Lie, there's a story that goes with that, that you had mentioned um, earlier. Kisses Don't Lie was dedicated to my daughter, it was, it was just a very special song. It's a which, beautiful song. Uh, yeah. it just, you can just feel the emotion when you hear the song. It, it, just, it just seems feel like your... I was living that, mm -hmm. you know, which, I, I mean, I hugged and kissed her every single day, mm. you know. But um, she recently passed away, but, you know, I still, it seems like she's still here. Yeah. It really does. Th two and a half years old? She was two and a half years old. Her name was Jania Champagne King. Mm. And, oh, uh, she has the yeah, champagne also. Yeah. yeah. Where did you get that name, Champagne? Champagne came from Bubbles is my nickname. Okay. And we we were not going to do that. <laughs> oh come on. Because it, it would have sound too. I'm not a Evelyn Bubbles dancer yeah. or something. You know. I like Champagne better. You know. Not only that, they would have been expecting this huge. No, I'm not going to get that way either. But yeah. <laughs> they would have expected something kind of out of the ordinary. I was like, no, no, no. Here comes Bubbles. No, yeah. You, you yeah. grew up in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. How was it like? Um, how was it was different what was Evelyn like as a little girl did you I have a group wild, singing crazy, in a group performing a little around boy. Billy? Wild, really? wild wild I'm not gonna admit that I was this this thing you know no <laughs> but I mean I was just in you know with everything that was happening okay you're popular. not the drug scene and all the crazy stuff but you know just hanging mm -hmm. you know I was wild they couldn't stop me from being a bad girl in school you know I was you know class clown Okay. All right. Always a performer. Yes, always. And when and, did you start um, singing? I was 16 years old. I was 16. And it was, it was just out of coincidence. You know, it's like a dream for some people. And then for me, it was like Cinderella. I'm, hey, a black Cinderella came out there somewhere. Yeah. And I was very happy about that because I was in a local band at 14. Okay. So, you know, and it felt real good in Philadelphia, South Philadelphia. Who, you know, it's it, one of those basic standard questions, okay. who inspired you? But your style isn't like oh. any other artist that I could pinpoint and say, oh, she's another Aretha Franklin, okay, or she's another Patti LaBelle. Patti LaBelle is my idol. She's your idol? She's my idol. 
I, I guess I feed off of, of her people. from, she's my idol as far as the energy on stage and the mm -hmm. performing. Okay. You have to, you know, you, you have to have energy for what's, what's out there. Yeah. If you don't give any energy on stage, they do not want to come see right. yours. You're yeah. right. And she gives that so much, you know, I really admire her. I always will. Chaka Khan, Linda Jones was my first because Hypnotize, I used to sing so much. And um, I, I would love to come back and, you know, do that again. I Very would love nice. to make it out again. Very nice. But so I, I think, love a lot of artists. Yeah. But basically, if you were to say the one person <sighs> who inspired you the most, it would be Patti LaBelle. Yes. Yes. So are you going to go on and... Uh, I'm going to keep doing it. As long as Patti. That's right. <laughs> Longer That's than right. Patti. That's right. <laughs> Okay. We're here talking with Evelyn Champagne King, and we're, we've got one of her older videos, and we're going to take a look right now in Video Soul. We're back with Evelyn Champagne King. Let's talk about your flirt album. Okay, let's talk about it. <laughs> Okay. Well, you want to know? You don't about want to talk it, about it. Yeah, I'll talk about the flirt album. Okay. I love the flirt album. Okay. Um, flirt. First of all, everyone thought that Evelyn was a flirt. Well, I thought okay. that when I. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, let's clear that up. Okay. The way they, you know, how they take things, you know, for what? literally. Yeah. I mean, they were saying, oh, she's a flirt now, this and this. Oh, there's nothing wrong with saying, it. No, Good marketing. Way, I was, I was bringing out a point for them. There's ways to flirt without getting in trouble and have your condom and do this and you know just make sure you so we're not just let them about that's right I'm letting them know <laughs> you flirting know, and follow through there's, yeah there's ways to flirt yeah. you know and um, they didn't know how to do that because <laughs> it was getting kind of crazy at the point that when I did that yeah. that album and it was like a good time to send me a and, message yeah because me and Leon Silvers was talking about you know, we was talking about AIDS and problems, you know, that's going on because it's a new generation coming out every day. Yeah. And when we came out with Flirt, it was the way he did it. It was no lyrics. This guy just went from the studio room to the hallway and wrote the lyrics out. And it meant what, you know, we were talking about. Wow. You know, it meant something. Yeah. But the whole album was branched on basically what Evelyn really is going through or what is happening out there, mm -hmm. which I always try and give across. Yeah, it seems that way. Yeah, that's got to be difficult sometimes when you're you want to send a message out to children and young adults and, right. and old adults, right. whatever. But then without coming across too preachy, right? And to try to relate to them, right? I guess that's because difficult. you try and make it more. You don't want to try and like pinpoint anyone, mm -hmm. but at the same time you want it to be fun. Yeah, you know, you let them know it can be fun at the same time. It can be this or that. Yeah. But they don't, you know, seem to take it that way. You, you have a quote: "In order to live life, you have to enjoy it, or something like you that." You have to know life. How do, What is the quote? Um, you have to live life to know life. What does that mean to you? Um, since I had my daughter, I felt that as much as I went through being 16, I wasn't 16 to me. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't feel it anymore. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel like a teenager because I wasn't able to live it. I went through school, but. You know, I had jealousies, and they was like, what is she really about? I stayed to myself, but Evelyn was always about work. I wanted to work or get out there and have a positive note to let everybody know that, you know, I'm not wild and crazy as you think. You see me I'm fun. I'm an entertainer. But right, I'm, I'm an entertainer, but I'm a person first, you know? And it's, it's kind of hard for that to come across unless you say it yourself. Mm -hmm because it, you know how it go, yeah. you know, it gets around wrong, and without my face or without my voice, they'll never really know me. And people say, well, and I've she's got to be like this. And since I had a child, you know, they say, well, you would never know what it's like to have a kid. I do. Mm -hmm. I still do. I know what it's like to have a, a, a guy in your life. I know what it's like to have a family. We all do. You just have to know it. Yeah. You know, and I went through it, and it feels real good, because I have, I have to take it day to day, mm -hmm. like the song says. Right. So, so where are you that. now in your life? I'm happy. I'm, you know, I'm taking it day to day because mm -hmm. it's, it's still a struggle for me mentally of what Dealing just happened. Your daughter's um, it'll never go away because that was the only one in my life that I knew I was able to feed from my mouth to hers. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, I look at young girls out there today, they think that, you know, you just have a kid and that's it. It's not about that, you know, which I'd like to spread across. I've seen too many children that are very sick. Mm -hmm. I've been there. And it don't feel, it don't feel comfortable to just leave them.